Quotations from Chairman Mao Zedong, commonly known as the Little Red Book, is a collection of quotations from the former chairman of the Communist Party of China, Mao Zedong. First published in 1964, the book became one of the most widely printed and distributed books in history, with an estimated 800 million copies sold worldwide. It was a key tool in Mao's propaganda campaign, used to promote his ideas and ensure his authority within the Chinese Communist Party. The book is divided into 33 chapters, covering topics such as revolution, the role of the Communist Party, military strategy, and the relationship between the individual and the state. The quotations are presented in a simple and accessible style, making them easily understandable to the masses. The book is also small and portable, allowing it to be carried around and read at any time. Mao's quotations cover a wide range of topics, but the central themes are his ideas of class struggle, the importance of the masses, and the need for constant revolution. He believed that the working class should overthrow the ruling class, and that the Communist Party should lead this revolution. Mao also emphasized the importance of the masses, whom he saw as the driving force of the revolution. He believed that the masses should be mobilized to actively participate in politics and society, and that they should be encouraged to criticize and reform the system. Mao's ideas on revolution were heavily influenced by Marxist theory, but he also developed his own ideas on guerrilla warfare and the use of mass mobilization. He believed that the Communist Party should use all available means, including violence, to overthrow the ruling class. Mao also emphasized the importance of guerrilla warfare, which he saw as a more effective means of fighting against a stronger enemy. He believed that guerrilla warfare could weaken the enemy's morale and support, and that it could also help to mobilize the masses. The Little Red Book became a symbol of Mao's authority and the official ideology of the Chinese Communist Party. It was required reading for all party members, soldiers, and students, and was also distributed to the general public. The book was seen as a guide to revolutionary action, and its teachings were applied to all aspects of life, including politics, education, and culture. However, the book was also used as a tool of political repression. During the Cultural Revolution, which began in 1966, Mao's followers used the book to attack and eliminate their enemies. People who were seen as not following Mao's teachings were labeled as counter-revolutionaries and were subjected to public criticism and sometimes violence. The book was also used to justify the destruction of traditional Chinese culture and the promotion of revolutionary art and literature. Despite its influence, the Little Red Book has been criticized for its simplistic and sometimes contradictory messages. Some have argued that the book is full of vague and meaningless slogans and that it lacks any real substance. Others have pointed out that many of Mao's ideas, particularly his emphasis on constant revolution and mass mobilization, led to disastrous consequences for China and its people. Today, the Little Red Book is still considered an important historical document and it continues to be studied and debated by scholars and politicians around the world. While Mao's ideas may be seen as outdated and even dangerous by some, his influence on Chinese history and the global communist movement cannot be ignored. The book remains the fascinating and controversial artifact of a pivotal moment in world history.